Weeks of fighting and instability in Yemen, signs that al-Qaeda is feeling more emboldened to further destabilize this key U.S. ally in the war on terror. In what appears to be a coordinated operation, dozens of al-Qaeda militants break out of a prison in the southern city of Mukalla, while armed militants attack the jail from the outside. When I speak to a respected analyst on Yemen about the breakout, he voices a disturbing accusation. This breakout occurs in Mukalla. There's been a lot of fighting in Abiyan province. Islamist militants have taken over the city of Zinjibar. What does it say about the control the Yemeni government has in this region? Well, not only is the Yemeni government's control receding, but there are instances where you could say that the Yemeni government is instigating some of this chaos with the, the goal to demonstrate to the United States and Saudi Arabia and others that this regime, the government of President Saleh, is the best to fight al-Qaeda. Christopher Bosek says the Yemeni government is more concerned with protecting itself from the popular revolt going on now than with going after al-Qaeda. So he says the government has repositioned its counter-terror forces, retreated from areas where it's lost ground, and is circling the wagons. As a result, he says, al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, the group linked to the Christmas Day airline attack and the cargo bomb plot against the U.S., has freer reign, especially in southern Yemen. Contacted by CNN, a Yemeni official briefed on security operations brushed back on that, saying the government has deployed forces from five brigades just to that southern region and isn't backing down. Still, this is just the latest in a series of dangerous prison breaks in Yemen. Nasser al-Wahishi, who escaped in one of those, went on to lead al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, and analysts say he's still at large. Can we anticipate that some of the people who broke out of this prison could lead attacks against the West in the future? Well, I think this shows that the security situation is deteriorating rapidly, right? As this, as this drama goes on in Yemen, things are getting worse. Some of the individuals who broke out in this case may have been involved in previous attacks. Stability in Yemen now seems to hinge on whether President Ali Abdullah Saleh will return. He is recuperating in Saudi Arabia after being injured in an attack about three weeks ago. A Yemeni official told me President Saleh plans to return soon. Opposition leaders say they don't think he'll be back, Wolf. It's, that's touch and go. Yeah, he's obviously very, very ill uh, right. right now. Are you getting some new information, updated information, on the hunt for these al-Qaeda terrorists? That's right. A Yemeni official briefed on these security operations tells me the area, entire, the entire area around that prison is shut down. Entry points, exit points closed off, military and police on high alert, and they're actively looking for these escapees. But in that area of Yemen, al-Qaeda has a lot of sympathizers. Whether they're going to be able to round up all these guys... They may not be able to, and that's pretty ominous. 63 full-fledged members of al-Qaeda on the loose right and just now. to be, to reiterate, the suspicion is that the government there allowed these people to escape? Christopher Busek says they could have at the very least turned a blind eye. They're trying to protect themselves. They're more concerned with that than going after al-Qaeda. So they're just repositioning their forces, self-preservation first, then maybe we'll go after these guys second.